The Lou Dimes tonight word of the day is showdown, which means a final test or a confrontation intended to settle a dispute. And joining us tonight is the attorney who had a nearly six hour showdown with the obviously politically biased and politically corrupt federal judge, Emmett Sullivan, who has departed uh, from all procedure of the uh, federal courts to carry out his own uh, initiatives. Sydney Powell is General Michael Flynn's attorney. She joins us now by phone, having just left the uh, courtroom. Uh, Sydney, good, first of all, to have you with us. And secondly, uh, it was quite a, uh, a confrontation between you and the judge. Uh, where do you believe the, the proceeding uh, left General Flynn uh, and, uh, his, and his efforts to uh, be free of this persecution that is an incredibly four years long? Well, I wish I could tell you it was over, Lou, but it's not. General Flynn is now being persecuted it's clearly by the courts with Judge Sullivan and Mr. Gleason, his amicus friend, having taken up the mantle of people like Peter Strzok and Andy McCabe and James Comey and Barack Obama and Mr. Biden for persecuting and investigating and wrongfully prosecuting General Flynn when there was absolutely no basis to do so, as acknowledged in the words of the agents themselves and the many documents the government has produced in the last several weeks. During that hearing, you, you told the judge to his face that uh, he had uh, conducted himself with abject bias. What was his response? Uh, he pretty well shut me down on on those arguments. Uh, he certainly did the first time. I got more in the second time I started talking about it. And we will be filing a motion to disqualify him because the comments he made today reflect pure political ambitions in continuing the prosecution of General Flynn and other actions since the court remanded it to him also do the same. It was absolutely appalling, Lou. It was just nothing short of stunning. I, I would have thought we were in a third world country where political prosecutions are commonplace. And it's it's uh, it is also a, a political corruption that has reached to the appellate court. Certainly, uh, the D.C. appellate court uh, supporting all of this is just as contemptible in my book. Uh, you're the attorney, but I can tell you as a citizen to watch an appellate court uh, basically embrace uh, Emmett Sullivan and his obvious bias, his obvious prejudice against your client, uh, a, a three-star general, served the country with distinction, uh, and they have gone after him, and apparently at the behest of powerful political figures, uh, we know some of the names. We don't know all of them. Your thoughts? Yes, they have gone after him hammer and tong. No amount of evidence that has been produced would dissuade them. In fact, the way they dealt with that was just to simply pretend that it did not exist. It was obvious Judge Sullivan had not even read the multiple ex exculpatory filings that had been submitted to him. He clearly didn't know that the first plea was void because Judge Contreras had to be recused or that he had failed to do a complete Rule 11 colloquy in the second instance. That's because he apparently hasn't read our briefs on those subjects. He's focused only on what his friend Mr. Gleason gave him to read, which elides the actual facts that cause and require the case be dismissed. And, and on we go. Uh, and uh, your client remains uh, caught in a, a a hell of persecution. Uh, the Peter Strzok, his attorney today, uh, saying that notes by you were, as he put it, doctored. Uh, what What is your response to that uh, that claim? Well, that's laughable. We produced what the government gave us. I don't know where the documents came from in their files or who might have made the notations on them if Mr. Strzok didn't. But the letter his lawyer sent to the court is an extrajudicial communication, which was wholly improper and should not be considered by Judge Sullivan for any purpose. The same is true with President Trump's tweets, which were at least themselves transparent 
and discussed only the facts of the case and the egregious government misconduct, whereas we have Obama and Biden secretly in the Oval Office telling the FBI to investigate and pursue the case against General Flynn when they knew from Comey's own mouth that the calls he had with Ambassador Kislyak were perfectly legitimate. This is the most egregious and appalling obstruction of justice, abuse of power, conspiracy, and everything else you can think of. And add to that John Ratcliffe's letter today to Lindsey Graham, and it's clear who was behind it. And Peter Strzok knew that she knew he was working on the case. We've got a text to that effect. It's all tying together now. It is coming together now. Uh, I want to ask you two questions quickly. Uh, your thoughts about John Durham. Uh, the, you know, we don't know if it's true, but we, the reports continue that he will not be producing either charges or any kind of interim report. And most importantly uh, for you and for your client, what is next? I'm appalled we have no indictments yet from Mr. Durham. As long as this has gone on and as much evidence has been apparent, there could have been some significant charges brought certainly several months ago and produced even more charges because people like this apparently don't cooperate until they know their uh, livelihoods are in the line of fire. And what's next is Judge Sullivan will be uh, ruling, he said, with dispatch, whatever that means, since it hadn't happened yet. And we will be filing a motion to disqualify him within the next few days that adds from the transcript today and other things that have happened since the remand. There's no way that the D.C. Circuit should have allowed him to continue to preside over this case after he became an active litigant personally against the man whose case he was presiding over. It's outrageous. And this kind of appalling conduct in Washington, D.C. has been, unfortunately, it's become commonplace in political corruption is pervasive right now uh, and even our federal judiciary. Uh, Sydney Powell, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. And of course, we wish you good luck as you uh, pursue uh, uh, justice for your client.